Hey everybody, my name is Darla. I want to show you a quick tip. You may already know, if so, move on. Um, but a lot of people don't know. Um, sometimes you get something like this bin, and like I, my son kept his trains in this a long time ago, and so I labeled it. I used to have a little photo of the train set on here. The photo does help because it helps kids visualize what belongs in a bin, especially when they're little, when they're toddlers. Just print out that, take a picture of their toy that goes in the bin and, and uh, keep it on there on the inside. Anyway, I just removed those. And, uh, but I still have this Sharpie marker. And um, it's kind of hard to get Sharpie marker off. Well, guess how you take it off? With more Sharpie marker, it seems. Whoops, I just wrote it again. <laughs> okay. Um, it seems very... Uh, yeah, like counterintuitive. I want to get Sharpie off, and so I'm going to put more Sharpie on there. But here's how you do it. Very, very simple. Sorry, I can't be, can't seem to hold it and do this, but because um, you have to be quick about it. So what you do is scribble over it, and then, whoops, while it is still wet, I'll try not to write all over myself. Um, take a take a paper towel or whatever. And rub. And so, check that out. Basically, what it's doing is it is, let's get that little spot. It's re wetting the, uh, that old Sharpie. And of course, it won't work 100% on every surface. You wouldn't be able to do it with Sharpie, maybe that's on fabric, something like that. But, um, Situation like this, some plastic, perfect. Uh, DVD cases that you might perhaps buy for 10, 20 cents. <laughs> you want to resell them. There's nothing wrong with the thing except somebody wrote on it. Looky there. But you have to act quick. You can't go over this whole um, the whole surface here and then decide to wipe it. You just do a little section at a time. And uh, as you can see, have to, you know, it has to be a fresh enough Sharpie that um, it has enough wetness. Take it off. But look at that. I'm really not even, you know me, I get out of breath for everything and I, I'm doing this, I'm not getting out of breath. I'm just having a little difficulty holding, holding my phone and swiping. But, um, so you can see, it does work. So, I want to let you know. I'm going to change this and what I'm going to do once I get it all clean, and I, but I don't have to. I mean, I could do it right now because it doesn't matter. I'm marking it A1. Um, it's some of the stuff I'm selling. I want to be able to find it. So I'm going to do like a location code um, and maybe have, I'll just use different little bins and things I have. You know, have A1, A2, A3. I decide everything A will be small items. There will be a lot of things that fit in this bin. Um, you know, if it's DVDs or something, I might call it D, you know, and then have bins for those at D or for DVD. I don't know exactly, but um, one of my biggest problems in trying to resell some stuff or even just sell stuff around the house is being able to find the thing when it does sell. <laughs> so uh, that's my new plan to give a little location code and uh, so I don't have to go crazy. <laughs> I can kind of have things kind of prepackaged, uh, you know, semi prepackaged with a label on them so I can find things quickly and move things out quickly because I'm trying to get things out um, the same or next business day. Um, I don't think somebody should have to wait three days for me to mail out a package. So um, I'm just going to try to get my, my stuff together. And uh, but anyway, so just a quick little trick for you. And you can tell this is older. You can see how that's all worn and it's got that um the color has changed over time see and that's fresh so that just shows you it's been there a while but yet it comes off and it will come off your dvd packages uh cd packages that kind of thing so um give that a shot i think it would a little bit of residue if you still can't get that with sharpie um i'm thinking it's rubbing alcohol somebody correct me if i'm wrong but it might be rubbing alcohol um but if you're going to try it on a surface that you've never used before, you might just want to test it in some little, you know, insignificant area like down on the bottom or something. And um, in case it does something, changes the plastic or something like that. But that's all I've got. So 
I just wanted to share that quick tip with you. Talk to y'all later. Bye.